guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be making the totem bowl bracelet. It's a yen design and it's formed on one loom. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna yeah uh, zoom out. Yep. So um I got my loom ready, but so you're just gonna take out this middle row. Okay, and it looks like this, and then you have a row here, and you're just gonna place it down like this like that so it's kind of all weird it's it's not your normal room but you can take it off and put it where it was so today the colors i uh you won't be needing that many bands i put the soccer charm on it because it looks pretty and i'm going to be using two colors so for this black part over here i'm going to be using fuchsia with white that's tie-dye jelly and then for my colors, I'll be using two colors. And then um, for for my first color, I'm using this tie dye jelly purple with a with a crochet yellow. And then I have a fuchsia with a a crochet yellow again. So yeah, let's get started now. Let's make the bracelet. So take your outside color bands. Second. As I said, I was using this tie jelly, and you stretch it out to this peg, to this peg. And guys, you may have seen the totem pole bracelet on formed in a weird, the way it was, but that's hard for me. I make it on this shape loom. So you stretch one out to this peg, to this peg, and stretch one out to this peg, to this peg, like that. And then you do a line up the whole thing and stop at this peg right here. It's kind of weird. So we're doing a lineup. Oh yeah, guys, your air should be facing away from you. And guys, you won't be needing like a million, million bands. Um, people say they have a million bands in their totem pole, but in this totem pole, how my loom is shaped, you'll be needing less bands kind of weird and you can make the totem pole bracelet on a hook that's weird i saw it but it's so hard to make i didn't understand it um um i've been making animal tutorials on youtube um, not on youtube but yeah okay so we're to the second to last peg but we don't stop we go still we go up here and then take one band and stretch out to this peg, to this peg. Sorry about the background noise if you hear it. I think you don't, but... Mm -hmm. So it kind of looks like this. And we go do the same thing at the other side. So do a oopsie. Do a, not do a oopsie. And do a line up the middle. I'm really, really sorry about the background noise. My mom and dad are watching the show. My sister has iPad time right now. It's the weekend, guys. Saturday, no, no, Saturday, yeah. And tomorrow's Easter, so happy belated Easter. Maybe I may I'll make a video tomorrow and I'll say happy Easter, but yeah. <sighs> so long. Up the loom. Okay, so we're to the second to last peg and then you take one band and turn it out to this peg up there and then you take another band and stretch out to this peg to like there okay so now we're going to be placing the totem pole little things and they kind of look like x's i'll say the x totem pole uh-huh so we'll be placing these little x's so that's our color sequence so what you do is you take your first color that i said i'll be using this tie jelly with a crochet yellow yeah and you stretch it out to this peg to this peg and then you take one more of that color and stretch out to this peg to this peg so on your border band and then stretch your totem pole to this peg to this peg like that and then you need um four bands for each totem pole but you just have to do this to connect your bracelet over here um you don't have to put this band here i'm just doing it for safety and then you take one band and stretch it out to this peg, to this peg, up there. 
and then this peg to this peg, like that. And then what you do is you take another outside color and you go up like this, like that. I'm really, really, really sorry about the background noise, but, and then take your next color. I'm using this color for, I won't tell you the color. It's so long to say. And then you start to do this peg to this peg. And this peg over here uh, has a lot of bands, so just be careful so they don't pop. And then take another band and start to do this peg to this peg. Oh yeah, guys, you can use a, a Matilda loom. Oh yeah, it's a big problem. No, it's not. And you start to run out to this peg to this peg. And make sure you go to the left, no, to the left, to the right, to the left, and then to the right. Because then you won't loop good. Loom good. And then you turn around to this bag, to this bag. And then you take another outside color band and stretch out to this bag. Like that, normally, like that. And then what you do is take your next color. Again, I'm using this color. As I said, I was using two colors. And stretch out to this bag, to this bag. And then this peg to this peg, and make sure you're going left to right, and then left to right. And if you don't, your bracelet will form. And then you stretch one out to, oopsies, to this peg, to this peg. And then this peg to this peg, like that. And then take your, push all those bands down, down there. And you stretch one out to this peg, to this peg like that and then you just keep making your totem poles until well i'll show you my totem poles sorry you guys i get mixed up and then i be like oh no you have to make that totem pole no no i get mixed up with Lumi sometimes um and then as we did we start going out to this peg to this peg and then we take one band and start out to this peg to this peg and then over here to there, so over here to there. See, I'm going left to right, and then left to right. And then this peg to this peg, so this is my first left. And then again, my fourth left here. Uh, just guys, if you hear the background noise, just ignore it and watch the video. And then push these bands down. So you have a little bit of space there. And then you take one band and stretch out to this way to your end of your total pole. And then you keep doing that up your loom. So this peg to this peg. And go a bit faster. This peg to this peg. This peg to this peg. And then this peg to this peg. Sorry, I wasn't sure you that. And then slish these bands down. Take another outside color and switch over this bag. And then, wait guys, yep. My bands get so mixed up. And then this bag to this bag, this bag to this bag, push the screens down. And you can guys push the screens down, it's okay. But make sure they don't go to the end of your loom because that would be weird. And then this bag to this bag. And then take another band and start to do this back to this back. Your outside color. And then this back to this back. And go way faster. Well, not that faster, but I'm just doing it a bit faster than I was. Just please ignore the background noise um, if you hear it. And then this back to this back. It'll only be nine minutes. Huh, why am I tell you that? And then Push these bands down. And just make sure you're doing this right or your looping will be wrong. And start trying out to this peg, to this peg. And then, switch to this peg. This peg to this peg. Okay, guys. I'm running out of bands right now, but this peg to this peg. And then, last color of yours. This peg, this peg to this peg. Oopsie. Take that band again and this peg to this peg. Take another 
after I color and switch out to this bag to this bag. Oh yeah, sorry guys, swoosh these down and then put that bag. I just got mixed up. And then your last totem pole, so this bag to this bag. And guys, we will not be doing a totem pole here. I'm just telling you, this bag to this bag. And this bag, this bag to this bag. And this bag to this bag. And then you take another outside color and stretch it out to this bag. Okay, so you do one more totem pole and I'll show you what to do. So, um, I, I need more bands, so just give me a second and just watch my totem poles. Okay. Kinda has a weird noise. And then, look at this noise. Don't mind that, mind that. And then take, go up, turn on, and then this peg to this peg, this peg to this peg, um, yeah, this peg to this peg, and this peg to this peg. Okay, now we're gonna do something that we didn't do in the bracelet. So, so we're at the top, and we have these six pegs, kind of like a monster loom, but. Watch this carefully or your bracelet will form wrong. So, you take one band and stretch out to this peg to this peg. This peg to this peg. And now what you do is you take the same color you were using and you just put it up like that. Okay, now you flip your loom. And make sure your loom looks like this. If you don't start looping from the top, you start looping from the bottom. And then we'll be needing two more outside color bands. So, on your hook, tap one cap band like this two times. And then you push these bands down and you put your cap band on the middle peg. Because we're going to start looping from the middle peg. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. Yeah, so you can see and you don't mess up anything in your total bowl. Then you go inside your band, top band, get the first band, purple band you see, and loop it up. Okay guys, something ha just happened. I hope that didn't happen to you. But one of my strips of my cap band went away, so I'm gonna do that. Something off camera that you don't have to see. Oh, you can see it. And then place my cap and band. And then, yeah, I'm doing it off camera. Okay, so sorry guys, I just messed up. And you go inside your cap and get the first band you see, that's your yellow crochet, and then loop it up the peg above it. Okay, and you zoom out a bit, because you see too close, and then you want to see the pegs where we're going to be looping it to. So, you just go inside this little hole, there's, it's formed for us, and then you got this first band over here, and you loop it up to the left. And then we left. Yeah, it's my left. And then you go, you just go in this hole again and get the first band you see and loop it up like that. And then this is kind of hard, but there's this first band here and I'm just gonna loop that up there like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do something you never thought of. So you go, in, you just go inside that this like diamond shape over here. You go inside it and loop it up where it came from. I'm gonna zoom out just a little pinch more. Okay, yeah, now you can see my pegs. And then take this last band in your totem pole and stretch out to this peg. Like that, yep, like that. And now we move on to our next totem pole. Wait guys, and now what you do is you put one band, so we went in there and we got the band and we put it up there. So now what we do is we go inside this cap band and we get this first band here that you see. Oopsie, guys. I'm doing this wrong. Wait, no, I'm not. And then, so you go inside your cap band that you made now and you get the first band you see and loop it up there. Guys, don't listen to the news. My dad's watching it. My mom's on her phone. So, and you go inside your cabin.
at the first band and loop it up. And it kind of looks weird, but you go inside every single band except the bottom one. Grab the bottom band with your hook and I'll loop it up there. And then you go inside every single band except the bottom one. Get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up there. And that's where we're gonna stop. And then you go inside every single band except the bottom one at this peg right here. Yep, get the bottom band with your hook, loop it up. Inside every band except the bottom one, get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. So now we have a new step. So now you go, get, just go inside this little hole that's created for you. And take this, put it up, oopsie. Take this, put it up, oopsie. Take this, put it at the left. And then this, put it at the right. And then this, put it, oopsie. And this, put it straight. And this, put it there. And then this, and put it there. Okay, now we have to do a new step. Since we loop two and then two there, now we're, we're gonna go inside this peg right here, except the bottom band. Get the bottom band with your hook, one second. Oopsie. And loop it up. Like that. And then you do the same thing on the other side. So you go inside every single band except the bottom one. Get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up like that. And then you just keep doing the whole thing up your loom. So I'll do this two more times. So you just go get that hole and then grab this and put it to the left. And then just go inside this hole here and then get the this band here and put it to the right. And then get this first band over here that you see and loop it up there. It's kind of looks weird and I'm just gonna do something. Yep, like that. And then you stretch one out to this peg, up there. And then this peg up there. And then you go inside every single band, oopsie. Every single band except the bottom one. Get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. And you do the same thing at the other side. So go inside every single band except See, except the bottom one, grab the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. So we're just looping the border while we're doing our totem poles. So I'm gonna do this one more time and then going off camera. And then you get, so there's this hole and then you go inside. Get the first band with your hook and loop it up to the left. And then first, into the hole, get the first band, loop it up to the right. And then get the first band here, loop it up there. Oopsie, guys. And a little bit. I'm gonna do that off camera. And then we went inside, got the first band, and we looped up there. So now you go get this first band and loop it up to itself. So we're just looping everything to itself. And then you go inside this big hole over here, get the first band, and loop it up. Yep, like that. And then you go inside every band. So this peg, just where we looped that peg, we're gonna go to the bottom of that peg and then go inside every single band except the bottom one, get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. Oops, you guys, my camera was just wiggly. And then you go inside every single band except the bottom one, get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. Oopsie, loop it up. And guys, in this percent, recommend to use a crochet hook. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm gonna be going off camera, and your totem pole should look like this right now. This kind of looks weird, but all these should look like this. So I'm going off camera. If you didn't get like, if you didn't understand how to do the totem poles, rewind the video. And yeah. So going off camera, guys. I'm back. And I didn't do all my totem poles, but I want to show you how you end this up. So, and I loop these border bands. So, zoom in. And this hole, you just grab the first left band, like that. And then you go inside this hole again. Get this first left band and loop it up there. And then you get this last band right here and loop it up there. 
So now what you're gonna do is you just loop the borders. So one to the end peg and then you loop our border there. So now we go inside every single band except the bottom one, get the bottom band with your hook and loop it up. But now what you do is at this peg over here, there's just one band and you're gonna take it out and loop it there. And then, oopsie, and then there's just one last band here and then put that in like that. So now we're gonna take off our bracelet. So you'll just be needing one more band the whole time now. Well, except you're doing extension. Then you go inside every single band and you put your hook to the side, like there, to the left, I'll say, yep. Or you can put it to the right if you're used to the right. But, sorry guys, you should put it to the left or I think it won't form. But, you take one more band, your outside color and pull through everything on that peg. You put the other band up. And then you pull it off your loom, so I'm gonna just pull it off. And I'm gonna do the off camera, so, yep. One second. Okay, guys. So I made my totem pole and just give it a stretch. So there's your totem pole bracelet. And you can, uh, I won't be showing you after the extension, but thank you for watching, subscribe. To my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell if you didn't. And remember I said if I get 200 subscribers by this week, then I will show you my bracelet collection. So thank you for watching. Bye.